Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the Adagrad optimizer. The Adagrad optimizer uh, performs uh, smaller updates for parameters associated with frequently occurring features. And for parameters uh, with infrequent features, uh, it gives a larger update. The formula used for this optimizer is this. We define a variable, gt, that will store the, the last gradient, the last square gradient. GT. And when we want to update our parameter that is defined with this letter, Greek letter, it would be like this. Our learning rate divided by the square root of GT plus Epsilon. We can include epsilon inside the square root or outside. The we we use epsilon in order to to not divide the, our our learning rate by zero. So this this Greek letter represents a a very small value like this, maybe. So that's all. We now I uh, can implement and code it by ourselves. So the first thing we, we need to do is go to our Atagrad uh, file. We include the eigen core. The configuration. and the optimizer. We also need to include the sparse sparse map that we include in previous video. So we create our adagrad. Adagrad that we inherit from optimizer. Type D. No, I think sparse has map. Const scala. Okay. We have a problem because we have not defined our type the our matrix scala again dynamic one vector And the array. Okay. Now, um, what? We need to define our hyperparameters. That first of all the learning rate 
the error rate and the epsilon that I've mentioned that before we create our constructor of the function and learning rate will be initialized with 0 0.01 and the epsilon with 1 multiplied by 10 to the minus 7 power we need to create the reset function to reinitialize uh, to clear the history this historical data data in which we will store the 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 g the square gradients the sum of the square gradi gradients and the update const align map vector the vec and align map vector the parameters first of all We obtain the uh, the, grad is, uh, the gradient square associated with the derivative of the vector. It's a way to obtain our data, and if the gradient square dot size is not initialized or is equal to zero, we resize it and give the same va uh, value of our derivative vector dot size and we init to zero set zero sorry set to zero the last thing that we have to do is we update the gradient square that it would be we will sum it by our derivative of the error square and now we can update our array we will use an array operation value by value of the matrix we multiply the learning rate by the derivative of the vector multiplied by the array divided by the gradient square the root square plus the epsilon epsilon okay. and that's all thank you for watching it and see you in the next video